This question, what is the best coax to use for a dipole and would connecting multiple lengths affect transmission output? That's from Steven. Well, the best, see, that's always the, the hard question. Uh, what is the best? But, uh, so it will come down to what, what band you're operating uh, and how, lo how long is the run going to be? Uh, is it going to be 100 feet, 300 feet? And is it, uh, you know, 75 meters or is it 10 meters? So um, probably the best coax is going to be um, the one you can afford obviously and uh and it's going to be uh look at the frequency that you're operating on and how long your run is going to be and then do you do you want to you're going to have loss so you're going to lose power from the time it leaves your transmitter to the time it gets to antenna if you're it, you know, if it's acceptable to lose, uh, you know, 10 watts between the transmitter and the antenna, then so be it. Use that coax. So there, there's a number of things that factor into it. So it's going to be how much it's going to cost, which is our biggest factor. Two is going to be um, the, your your length of, of coax is going to be determine which one you're going to purchase and use. Now, multiple lengths of different coax or you know i got a 50 foot section of rg8 and then i got another 25 foot section of rg213 yeah they're the same i'm going to be operating on 40 meters that'll be fine you, it, there'll be neg the the losses there won't be any loss at the or very 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 little loss at the at your uh at your barrel and so uh, that shouldn't be a problem the problem you'll end up getting into is if you mix and match different uh, types of coax so if you go from a 50 ohm coax to a 75 ohm coax then you're going to have some issues but multiple lengths of the same kind of coax is not a problem not at hf vhf uhf that's a different story but I rem uh, but we're just strictly talking hf right now i remember uh, my early days and i'm sure i asked you a similar question throughout because i had a i had 213 this was something that dr bob told me 213 is what he used next thing you know i'm programmed that's what he uses military grade it's you can bury it that's what i need dollar a foot oy, oy, but it's uh it's good stuff right but i had mixed lengths you know i had to get uh, i had to go up 50 feet i didn't have all one piece running maybe that's uh and and i said you know i got a couple gonna put together what happens at the barrel and i was really surprised that you know at that connection point there was no not gonna be anything it was just like a solid connection and didn't have to worry about it. i was like cool didn't know at hf that's really not a problem when you get into the higher frequencies uh, then it can be you if you ran a you know, TDR'd it, or you swept it with some uh, sweep gear, you'll see a, a bump there, and uh, you'll get some additional losses. It's more sensitive at the much higher frequencies, but in the, in the HF world, nah, it's, you won't see it. For complete episodes, subscribe where you get podcasts, and click the bell here on YouTube for features and live streams.